And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Baba Yaga, an enchanting card game. This is for two to five players, an eight and up game. This is based on the Slavic folklore of Baba Yaga, who's a mean witch, I think, who is always messing with people. Um, she doesn't ever seem to be nice in any of the games that I'm playing. So in this game, you are trying to get your hand of cards to be a low number by casting spell cards using addition. This is how it's played. The goal of each hand of Baba Yaga is to have four or fewer points in your hand. As you can see, I'm now we're close at. I have 29 points in my hand. So you're going to be trying to do this and declare Baba Yaga at the end of your turn. So on your turn, the first thing you might do is discard any card in your hand to, and then draw either the top card of the other draw pile, discard pile or the top card from the deck. All right, well, that's not very useful. Let's try to do something else here. Now, what you can do on your turn after you're done discarding and drawing is you can cast a spell from your hand. Now, in this case, I, I can cast a spell. This spell is a pelican spell. It costs seven. As long as I have seven points worth to do so, I can. I could also cast a, a, this two and a five if I had it, or a four and a three, or a six and a one. I don't have any of that nonsense. So I cast the pelican spell. Now, when I cast the pelican spell, I can either take one Baba Yaga card or one owl card. So I decided to take an owl card. Um, so now also I'm going to have to draw back up when my turn is over. Now, why would I take an owl card? Baba Yagas are zero. Those are great for getting your hand down to four or less points. But on a future turn, if I can cast this owl spell, I can discard that to take two Baba Yagas, which can be very handy. Um, other things are there's a cat, which lets you steal a Baba Yaga or uh, Al from somebody else, and you can tell those because they have different color backs than the black cards that players normally will have. You can also cast the Dispel. You can make everybody lose all their Baba Yagas or Owls, and everyone has to get rid of those and draw a card from their deck or one of those. Unless they have Garlic, they can discard that Garlic instead. So Garlic is useful for that. And those are basically all the spells in the game. When someone ends the game, they will win and get zero points. Everyone else will get the value of their hands at that point. If you declare at the end of the game and someone else happens to have fewer points than you, you get 25 points. If you end with Bob, five Baba Yagas, which is hard, you will get zero points and everyone else gets 30. So you then you just play another round and as soon as someone gets 100 points, whoever has the lowest score is the winner. Um, these garlic cards are worth nothing for playing a spell but if the game ends and you have a garlic card in your hand, they're worth 10, so they can be bad. The same thing for these mortar cards. They're also worth 10 to end the game, but during the game, you can use them for any number to cast a spell. So you probably won't have it in your hand anyway, because you'll be casting spells with them. That's how you play. Now, I'm not necessarily opposed to the ideas that are presented here. It's just that overall, the package is extremely lackluster. The game of Baba Yaga is about getting cards out of your hand, but there's really no strategy or tactics to doing so. You don't really get to pick what spells you have. You just have to hope that you have them in your hand. If you don't have any spells in your hand, this game is so boring. I, I cannot emphasize how boring it is when you have a hand of number cards, you discard one and draw another number card. Woo! Now, I mean, obviously, you will discard a higher number to get a lower number so that you can get your hand down for those very lucky people who do draw Pelican spells so that they may change them into Owl spells and change those into two Baba Yaga spells so that they can laugh at you. It's just, if you draw the spells, yay! And if you don't, ha, ha, ha! That's really just, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of that. The idea of casting spells that add together to equal them, which is, incidentally, always seven, that's kind of interesting, but it doesn't pan out. Again, do I have the cards at equal seven? Oh no, I don't. There is almost no 
decision making in this game. It seems like there is. I guess the biggest decision is, do you want one Baba Yaga card or do you want an Al card, which you then can change it to Baba Yaga card. So of course you're going to take an Al card, unless maybe it's later on in the game, in which case you might need to take the Baba Yaga card. Um, and then making everyone get rid of the cards that they work so hard to get, finally. And unless they have a garlic card, if you get a garlic card, you might as well hang on to it. You're not going to get rid of it till later on. Ah. The artwork, too. Yes, I know. It's, I, I, I think we should be multicultural at the same time. This artwork is bleh to me. It's about a fairy tale that most people don't know about. So there's not a lot of connection, and that's fine. So teach me the connection. This game doesn't do any of that. This was just a game of, I play these cards, pick these cards up, got to get rid of some cards. Oh, someone went out. Yay. Uh, there's a lot of games where people can go out, like Rummy, for instance, and Rummy has some actual interesting decisions in it. Baba Yaga has a lack of those decisions, so for me, this one is a pass. Dice Tower Judgment, just not very fun. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Mm -hmm.